What's going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And we have a good one today. We got gameplay on the newly acquired Kevin Byard. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys are OGs, you already know about newly acquired Kevin Byard back in Madden 21. But let's go ahead and check him out. Let's hop into the lineup. He is a 94 overall on the Titans theme team. We are going to be rocking with Zone Hawk on him. Hopefully we can get that activated today. All he has to do is get um, an inter interception or force like three incompletions, but more than likely it's going to activate off of an inter uh, off of an interception. Uh, we also have Acrobat on him as well. And here is his stats. 94 speed, 93 excel, 86 tackling, 91 play rec, 91 pursuit, 84 man, 95 zone coverage with 81 hit power. So definitely really, really good um, in zone coverage. He has 82 catching as well to go along with 92 jumping. Uh, and then 89 change of direction is really nice. I'm not going to be using her with him. Maybe some of you guys might decide to use her with him. But we already got two really, really good users to choose from between Bernard Pollard and Jack Tatum. I'm rocking with Jack Tatum because he has a tick more speed um so that's you know i like speed a little bit better but if you like height you go with bernard pollard if you like a little more speed you go with jack tatum um but that i'm still using with jack tatum what we're gonna do is we're gonna have i guess bernard pollard i might sub him in like outside linebacker um or something like that i don't know if you can even sub an outside linebacker but as of right now pollard won't be seeing the field um but we'll see if we can, we can sub him in i don't know if we can or not but we'll try in this one uh but kevin byard also has uh, 71 block shed so not bad against the run either so um, I think this Kevin Byard's pretty underrated a lot of people are overlooking it just because of his speed um, but definitely once you throw him on the theme team he is really really good 5 foot 11 to 12 so a little under you know 5 11 you obviously want to have some taller guys out there but it's Kevin Byard you love the dude you, you got to put him on the field when you can um, so yeah, that is Kevin Byard. You probably see some boost there, um, and I'm going to show you actually what strategy items I have. I'm going to try and fly through this. I want to get into the gameplay as soon as possible. But the strategy items I'm rocking with right now is going to be in the zone. Which if you got, if I pulled in the zone with a plus speed out of a objective completion pack, which gives you a common strategy item or better, which means 95% you're pulling a common out of there. Maybe you have a 4.9% chance of pulling an uncommon. There's a 0.01 chance or a 0.1% chance of pulling a, a rare. Not only did I get a rare, I got an in the zone that gives plus one to speed. But here is what it does. It does uh, it gives you a plus two. Uh, everyone on the... Sorry, let me start over. It boosts all defensive backs. So you see safeties and cornerbacks get this boost. You get a plus two uh, boost to zone coverage and a pl uh, plus one to play rec and plus one to awareness. It also boosts plus one to man and plus one to speed. So all my defensive backs get an extra boost to speed. Uh, and then I also did a couple, maybe I think one or two more fa uh, fa uh, fantasy packs to try and get another in the zone to boost um, everyone, all, all the defensive backs again. But unfortunately, I was only able to pull the island, but the island isn't bad. You get plus two man, plus one to press, plus one to play rec. And you also go ahead and get plus one to strength and plus one to speed. Not to all your defensive backs. It only boosts cornerbacks. So right now, Jason McCourty, Desmond King, and Malcolm Butler, they all get plus four speed on the theme team. They look insane. Uh, but I really, really want to go ahead and get another in the zone to, to you know boost the speed for all the defensive backs instead of just cornerbacks. But as of right now, um, you know, pulling the island, I'll take that. And once we get enough coins, build my coins back up. Obviously, we, we're looking pretty good. We just saw that Michael Vick. Uh, but... I'd like to get my coins a little bit higher before I try and re-roll, re-roll, re-roll for another um, uh, strategy item, rare one, uh, because we do have Rising Stars tomorrow. Who knows, Christian Fulton might get an upgrade. Um, I'd love to see a Christian Fulton, maybe even Caleb Farley, even though he hadn't really played this year. But Christian Fulton definitely deserves uh, you know, an upgrade. He's been playing phenomenal. It's like the second-ranked coverage uh, cornerback on PFF, but... With that being said, I've kind of gone off a little bit. Let's go ahead and get to the game and see how Mr. Newly Acquired Kevin Byer can play today. All right, guys, hopping into this one. And there is our top three. Kevin Byard making his appearance in the top three. We're taking on 91 Calvin, 91 Jamal Adams, and 90 Zach Wilson. Okay, team, I guess. Hopefully, we can get a dub today. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Get 
get it, Vince. Touchdown, Titans. There we go. Good way to start the game. EA almost sold me, guys. I'm not going to sit here and lie. EA about sold me. Uh, we ha He ran commit, and I had a corner route to Jared. I just lobbed it up, and Jared Cook just dropped a wide-open ball. That would have been a touchdown. But nonetheless, we do score seven points that drive, so let's see what we can do defensively. All right, guys. Here we go. I kind of want to just see what he does offensively before I do any adjustments here. Um, all right, Wilson drops back in the pocket. Dumps it off to Everett there. Gained it two. We will give that up all day. If he wants to throw the ball for two yards every play, we will happily take that. All right. Gosh, I didn't know what to do. I, I, I really took both of them away initially. We just couldn't get home, and he found the open man. I tried to get back. I'm not sure who it was, but I tried to get back to the receiver that was deeper down the field, uh, and I just didn't have time. But I might have to start trying out the, these contains because these contains have been looking really nice as he dumps it off there to Cordell Patterson, who picks up nine. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and go, because um, he's been rolling out a lot. I'm going to go quarterback contain. Uh, we're going to go no hard flats. You know what? We'll go hard flats. Oh, my God. That would have been a pick if it didn't hit his lineman in the head. That was Cam Chancellor with Acrobat coming down there. Diving for the pick, but not able to uh, get the pick. I'm He's probably going to run the ball and pick this up. He's not going to run the ball. Cordero Patterson gets open. And he dr misses the. I didn't even look. I thought he was. I was just assuming he caught it. I was trying to make a play with Desmond King. Okay, so here we go. Fourth and inches. I'm definitely gonna come out in three four because you gotta respect the run in this situation. And I'm going hard flats. We're gonna pinch the line, and we are going. Okay. He's. Oh my goodness! He dumped it off, and I went hard flats, and KB almost made a great play. I thought he was gonna be able to knock it free. But man, wouldn't that that would have been a great play? We're able to get that, but we're not able to. And I don't know why I went back to three four here in this situation. Underneath it's going to be open. It's going to be Cordell. Oh, we almost got a we got a head stick there, but no fumble. All right, we got to make a play here. Someone's got to make a play. Get home. Do something. Gonna try and throw it there. It's incomplete. That's Bam Bam Cam. Okay, so we got how many 31s do we got on the field? So we got Cam Chancellor, we got Kevin Byard now. I think Bernard Pollard's number 31 too as well. Um, so Alright. Great ball. I I I didn't want to bite on that too hard. I thought something was coming over the middle. And he picks up another clutch first down. This might be, that might have been the last play before the two-minute warning. Let's see if he snaps the ball here. He is going to snap. It's going to be a run. And I overplay it. Cordell Patterson gets 10 there. Might have a first down. He does not second in inches. I just got to know when he is going to go to um, single back and just... Pick McCordy! Big play. That was Curse getting pressure in there. And we are able to go ahead and force a turnover. It's not Kevin Byer, but it is McCourty. Finally making a play for the theme team. Let's go ahead and uh, let's score again. All right, guys. Here we go. Back on defense. Unable to get points on the board. The last drive of the second, uh, second or first half, I should say. Big. Oh, oh my God. Bud Dupree, are you kidding me? Maybe I don't need to put Pollard there because that was a freak of nature type play. Oh my goodness. First he swatted it down, then he picked it up off the ground before it hit the ground. And he got a pick. That is crazy. Oh my. What a play. It's cook time. Cook time. Down to the six. Vince Young's 10 for 13. 116 yards has yet to throw or rush for a touchdown hopefully until now take off Vince tried to slide there but we'll get it to the two we'll take it let's see if we can punch this thing in with Henry 
All right, so if he's going to come out in this, we're just going to throw the ball. We're going to block Cook. We're going to block Henry. We're going to block Kari, and we're going to have two drags. He's got to pick who he uses. Um, and he is going to go with B, so we're going to throw it to Julio, and that is going to be a Tennessee Titan touchdown as we take the lead 13-0 with an extra point on the way to make it a 14-point game, and the kick is up by Guskowski, and the kick is good, so we take a two-touchdown lead with 3.04 left. Let's see what the defense can do. Can they get another turnover? All right, guys, back at it. First and 10 at his own eight. Not a good return from him, but he goes play action here. He's going to try and throw it, and that's the playmaker, Desmond King, with another pick for the defense, and he is going to pause the game, and he's going to be out of here. All right, guys, we won that game. We're going to go check out Kevin Byer one last time, but we did get a gridiron pack from that one, so we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what we can get. If we get glitchy here, that would be very nice. We do get an elite. 83 Allen Robinson. That is a nice little pull there. Okay, we'll take it. All right, so that is going to do it for the gameplay. Here's Kevin Byer one last time. You guys noticed the script on these or the font on, on the, you know, Speed, Excel, Tackling. They look a little different, and the plus one, plus two, whatever, like the boost that the Kevin Byer gets, it, that also looks a little smaller. Uh, I think that probably came with the update today, so... That is that. I just thought, I, yeah, I kind of just noticed that right now. But Kevin Byard didn't really get, I uh, will say maybe one time he got the ball thrown to him. He could have made a play. Um, he was just a tad bit late. But, again, the defense today as a whole played phenomenally. And we will see Kevin Byard this weekend in our Titans Team Team episode, hopefully with a couple of new additions. You know, we got rising stars coming tomorrow. I would absolutely love a Christian Fulton to come tomorrow. Don't. I wouldn't, you know, I would love to see a Caleb Farley, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but before we go on out, I just got word that 24 minutes ago, I got a report that said Avery Williamson is leaving the Broncos to sign with the Tennessee Titans where he will go on the active 53-man roster. So Avery Williamson returning to the Tennessee Titans. He was okay in Pittsburgh. Didn't really hear anything in Denver. Um, but he is back with the Titans, and with Rashawn Evans, you know, not playing really well. You know, Rashawn Evans is, is playing like crap this year. Um, towards the end of last year, he was playing like crap too. Um, but, you know, with him playing like that, Avery Williamson makes a lot of sense. So pretty cool to see that happen. But that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.